Hey everybody, Denver Broncos Fanatic here. Today I want to talk about the Denver Broncos and the depth they have the defensive tackle position. Over the past few years, Denver Broncos have gone into free agency and added people they've had in the past or people that were undrafted coming out of college. People they've had in the past brings up the name to mind, Justin Bannon. Justin Bannon, for all you Denver Broncos fans who might not remember, was on the Denver Broncos 2010 roster. Granted, he did not have the most productive year with them in 2010, but I did hear that he had a pretty decent year with the St. Louis Rams in 2011. So hopefully with his experience, he'll be able to help the younger defensive tackles on the roster with him. Another name I want to mention today, and excuse me in advance by Bush, this is Seal for Silesia. Silesia has been getting a lot of praise from Coach Del Rio and fellow defensive tackles at his position. From Del Rio, he has mentioned that he's very powerful, stout at the point of attack, and has a very good ability to move his guy around, which is a very good thing. So hopefully with a little hard work and determination, Silesia will be able to make the active roster this year instead of the practice squad and be a force to be reckoned with in the future for the Denver Broncos. Another name I want to mention today is Mitch Unrein. Mitch Unrein was on the Denver Broncos 2011 roster as a rookie. Granted, he did not have the most productive year, and in my opinion, he is a little undersized for a defensive tackle. He's only around the 290 range for weight, and maybe if he puts a little more healthy muscle on him and works on his mechanics with Justin Bannon and fellow tackle Ty Warren, he'll be able to be a force to be reckoned with. Now that I mentioned him, Ty Warren has missed the last two years, unfortunately, due to injury, but when he was able to play with New England before he was out for injury, he was a force to be reckoned with in their defensive line. And according to many reliable sources, with the Denver Broncos Association and himself included, he is back in full form. That being a good thing, hopefully he'll be able to make the Denver Broncos defensive line something that they've never been before. Another name I want to mention today is Kevin Vickerson. Kevin Vickerson has been on the Denver Broncos roster for the past couple of years, He's been going weight-wise up and down, up and down, either the Josh McDaniels organization telling him, get your weight down. Now Coach Del Rio, I read a recent article on DenverBroncos.com and saying he likes a bigger bottom in the middle, meaning to me, I believe, that Del Rio wants him a little bit bigger. So I've been keeping up on him. He has reportedly been adding some healthy weight to him. Hopefully that'll get his strength like more powerful, and he'll be able to move his guy around and make the Denver Broncos defensive line one great force. The final guy I want to mention today is former Cincinnati Bearcat Derek Wolf. Derek Wolf, I've watched a lot of footage on him. I've done as much research as I possibly can. He did 33 reps at 225 at the NFL Combine. Granted, that's not the biggest number in the world, but to me, that's pretty powerful. I've seen footage on him. I've noticed he is very tenacious, stout at the point of attack, and this is something I noticed. It's similar to middle linebacker Ray Lewis. He changes into a different person when he gets on the field. He can be fine all hunky-dory off the field, so to speak. But when he gets on the field, he's more of a mean, nasty player. He doesn't give up on any play. He's not selfish when one of his teammates makes a play. And that's a good thing because selfish players do not make a football team good. Unselfish players who are tenacious and never give up on any given play make a football team good. So hopefully, with all those names that I mentioned, the Denver Broncos defensive line will be back in full form, and hopefully there'll be a top 10 defense this coming year. This is Denver Broncos Fanatic signing out. I'll give you a mile-high salute, and I'll see you next time, everybody.